hello and welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is olga and today i'm coming with another video about my lips uh if you've been here for a while you probably watched me getting my lips done i did the russian technique and today i'm going to get my top lip dissolved the reason is nothing to do with the technique or anything because i know there are lots of things going on around the like russian technique of doing my lips but basically i had my lips done twice and the first time i had them done i they were like the usual technique i don't know didn't make much of a difference and then the second time i had them done with like a russian technique and the girl that did the the second time she did an amazing job and i love my apes like my bottom lip is so feels so soft and so nice i'm not gonna do anything to my bottom and i don't think i will need extra filler in my bottom lip because I think it's big enough but I want to get my top lip sorted because the, I think the first filler went all on the bottom because in here I still have my like cupid's bow on all around here I can feel and it's soft but I know it's still there but I'll show you a <laughs> closer this makes me a bit uncomfortable but I have to show you so basically if you can see this line here and here this is all filler that went on the bottom so i want to get rid of this because i keep i feel it in there and it's got no purpose it's just under in there it's annoying and before i go into my lips again i want to just start from nothing so i'm gonna get this dissolved and where are my arnica pills do, do, do. I'm not even sure my husband was taking the ah yeah here I've got my arnica pills but I'm gonna take two maybe these are great for inflammation and for not getting like too bruised or very like a reaction and get all swallowed I took this when I got my lips done last time and they she recommended it so I'm just gonna take this now and this is how my lips look now like I said the bottom I don't want to do anything to it just the top I'm sorry I didn't check if I have any food in my teeth because I just had food I need to go and brush my teeth before I leave because um, nobody wants bad breath when they go and get something done around their face and i need to run so i'm not sure if i can film in there but i mean it's not much but probably she's just gonna put some numbing cream and inject and then i will um, keep up and update you and then we will see the result uh, you may think that i do have a lip and it's fine but you will see if i had no top lip when i started so yeah let's just go it's been about 10 minutes since i had the procedure done and i can feel already that the lines under my lip here they are already just kind of going i don't know what kind of magic is that and you can see i am bruised uh, a lot because i forgot to follow my own advice and start taking the arnica pills a little bit earlier because i think it helped when i got my lips done and i wasn't too bad because we have to wear a mask everywhere at least i can just cover it and nobody's gonna see what's going on with my lips so yeah this is the update and it's how it's looking under uh very bruised like very bruised it didn't hurt because i think the numbing cream it was so good i didn't feel anything when she literally introduced the whatever we use i inside because i think she put the cream on the inside as well and probably gets absorbed much better than top of a lip so on the inside i could not feel anything like nothing she was uh, poking the needle through sorry if this is too much but uh, i couldn't feel anything 
it was a little bit painful around the cupid's bow because even when you have a filler down the cupid's bow is more painful like was the most painful area and um, yeah it was done i'm in the car park now i'm just gonna go around the shops and yeah, the mask is just gonna cover everything and i will come back later she said that it takes about 24 to 48 hours for everything to go she doesn't recommend any lip filler in the next two weeks uh when my um Miguel that I had the lips done before she said that um, she would like to wait six to eight weeks before doing it again so I'm just gonna wait and I think she's going away so it will probably be August when I'll go and have them done I don't know I have to contact her and see what we can do uh, and you will see how my lip will slowly kind of disappear so I will only have the bottom lip because I have not touched this at all. I like how it looks. I don't want to mess around. Um, the top lip needs a little bit of more work. So, yeah, I um, will come back probably in the evening to show you how it looks like. Uh, because I had it done at one o'clock. One o'clock was my appointment. She did a patch test on my arm and everything is fine. And I'm going back on Monday today it's thursday i'm going back on monday for her to have a look and touch and see if there is anything left because if there is anything left she will just top it up uh, and uh, get it all dissolved because she asked me if i wanted to dissolve just the line and here or if i wanted the whole lip so i went for the whole lip i just want to start from zero okay so little update for you i'm sorry if you can hear some noises because i've got the dishwasher going on and someone outside is cutting the grass but I did not expect this thing to work so quickly because you can see that my top lip is slowly disappearing. It's almost back to what my natural lip look, <laughs> used to look like. So yeah, it looks like. And now you can see how much bigger is the bottom lip. It kind of looks hideous at this point because the bottom lip is so much bigger, so much I mean it looks disproportionate so I will just shut up and let you I'll just shut up and let you see so yeah I do have some bruises here as you can see and which I think is normal um it doesn't hurt or anything uh, obviously if I will literally just pinch my lips it will hurt but if i do like this it doesn't hurt at all i can eat i could do everything really but i won't the only thing i wouldn't recommend is to eat anything spicy uh if you are a subscriber of mine you probably know how much i like spicy food and i just had some of the um, how do you call it seaweed little things with wasabi and uh, I didn't think much <laughs> until one little peep just drop of wasabi went on my lip and uh, it hurt. So, nothing spicy. I think it's common sense, but I kind of forgot. I was, I don't know, I was listening to music, I was in another, <laughs> I was in my element and I would I just i didn't think about it which is stupid of me so you'll probably uh, it's self-explanatory i mean why you're not supposed to have anything spicy or sour as well i guess so yeah this is the update it's currently 7 p.m so it's been uh, about six less than six hours since i had it done because i my appointment was a one and we had the 15 minutes patch test which is looking like this i got a little bruise in there and um maybe about 1 30 we were done because i think she waited 15 minutes and then it didn't take very long to put all the uh product inside i'm not sure what it's used I'm sure it's written in the, in the papers but so she also massaged it a lot she told me to massage it and on Monday I'm gonna go back to her and she's gonna check if there is any filler left I uh, will check with you tomorrow and see how it goes tomorrow so yeah that's it for today
see you tomorrow which is basically for you in the next segment okay so day number two update yes i am in my kids room and i don't have any makeup i am in the process of cleaning the house so uh this is what i'm left with basically two tiny little mountains <laughs> and i don't have any like side lip left at all especially when i talk or i smile there's nothing left in there and i forgot how small my lips were before i started to get them done so i do have some bruising and also a little bit more in here and i'm out of breath because i've been up and down the stairs <sighs> let me just catch my breath so most of it i think filler in here it's all gone what is left is a little bit here you can still see it forking and a little bit in here as well hopefully you can see so when i go back on monday she'll probably inject some more of the dissolving solution in here to get rid of these bumps these were the spots that um were bothering me the most and yeah it does not hurt i mean i can kiss i can eat anything it literally doesn't hurt at all um it's just that i do have some little bit left so i will have to go back and get this sorted and um yeah i i kind of forgot how my lips look like and i think i mentioned this already a million times and even my husband is looking at me like was it like this before i don't even remember and it's so weird to see this bottom lip so filled beautiful and from this top there's nothing especially from the side profile like can you see that <laughs> so yeah uh we'll probably also do an, an update tomorrow if anything changes and then we will wait until monday today is friday okay so uh it's monday and i actually went and had my appointment already she did inject a little bit more under here because i still had just a slightly bit of um, filler left you know on the line under the leaf just on the back of my lip i mean and i am all numb i feel like i've got ginormous lips because we are all numb <laughs> but yeah this is how my upper lip looks like at the moment it was a little bit bruised but now it looks better i can't believe it's so tiny and when i close my mouth or when i talk the upper lip tends to go under here because the bottom is so much bigger and um yeah i think this is the end of this kind of vlog and uh when i'm going to get it i will be when i'm getting it done again i will be filming again i'll see i'll talk with the girl that does it if i can maybe put the camera somewhere in the corner and record the process i'm not sure um so yeah I'm all numb and this is how my lip looks like now. Uh, yeah, I'll leave it here. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. I will leave you. Bye.